started working in Bulgaria 15 years ago. To give you a, an idea of what the situation was like for children in Bulgaria at that time, soon after the transition from uh, centralized economy to market economy, was uh, quite a, a new situation for, for everyone in the country and children were the most uh, affected by this because uh, families were looking for ways to adapt to the new circumstances and to be able to provide uh, for their families. The only option and the only social safety network at that time were the institutions for children and families who had difficulties looking after their children because they were poor, be taken in those institutions, even abandoned or left, given up by their parents. These times of transition for the country were very difficult for the whole nation, but the children were bearing the worst consequences of it. Institutional care has a tremendously negative impact on children. There is a wealth of evidence that shows that children suffer tremendously developmentally, cognitively, emotionally. Uh, they suffer uh, behaviorally growing up in, in these uh, soulless facilities. Children in institutions actually uh, very vulnerable to all forms of violence, including sexual abuse and sexual exploitation. In 2010, there was this government will to close down all the institutions. People, organizations uh, and donors like Oak started working together, joined efforts uh, and uh, understood that what is important is not only to support the development of preventative and alternative services, but also to support a systemic change to transform the child care system in Bulgaria. What Oak could do is to refocus its own funding in a strategic way to support the coordination between the different ministries who had responsibilities for the institutions. So the institutionalization is not only about um, closing institution, but it's also about looking at the best interests of the child and uh, support it to be resilient, to be in the community, to be visible and to enjoy uh, normal life and happy childhood. Talking about children in institutions makes us all very emotional and uh, it was hard to believe that uh, they will be closed down by 2025. By that time, there will be new generations coming up, growing young people, and my dream is that when they are 30, 35, this word institutions for children will be alien for them. They will, ask, they will be able to imagine what were they for, why were, who needed them. This is my dream and I hope it will come true.